With allies come enemies. And now we have a place to hold them. Demon armies and wardens, and Varric has exactly who we need. The big talker just knows everything. What do you think about the people who have gathered? Which? The ones who do things or the ones who give orders? What do you think about our spymaster, ambassador, and commander? Liliana is pretty in places. I swear I've seen her too. Or heard she used to play. But that'd be mad. Now Josephine, she's as good at humbling her kind as I am. Just with less mess. Knows her business, if you have to have it. And Cullen. I suppose if you want a jackboot, you get a big one so you can grow into it. Nice hair, though. Let's go on. Lots of standards. Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Can you arrange what we discussed earlier, Ambassador? I found the money. The Inquisition will compensate the families of those we lost at Haven. Thank you.
And what else did Lady Forsythia say? That she'd rather drown herself than help the Inquisition. Anything else? She said she'd have us flogged alive if we allied with her brother. That does sound like her. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have our attention. You always do find the brighter side of things. We are in the midst of cementing an alliance with Lady Forsythia of Nevara, Your Worship. It's become a somewhat delicate task. Can I do anything to help negotiations? Uh, thank you, but I believe I have matters in hand. I dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding with. Lady Forsythia simply employs a colorful manner of speech. Dealing with so many demanding, strong-willed people can't be easy. It's no less intense than my days at court, Inquisitor, I assure you. But I confess I do miss my staff from the Embassy in Antiva. It was always useful to discuss the day's visitors with them. I have time, if you'd like to review things with me. I wouldn't wish to impose. If it were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances it would be good to discuss. Right on the parlor floor. In front of everyone at the soiree. Who does such a thing in front of their guests? The Duke of Kellington, apparently. And then there's calls lurking. It frightens our guests half to death. Lord Genar still won't respond to our letters. And Sarah. Can she not find a single overshirt with that mustard taint on it? Then there's Dorian. The man refuses to take anything seriously unless it suits its whim. Not to mention... Oh, oh goodness. Have we been here an hour already? It went by so quickly I didn't even notice. You're far too polite. I didn't intend to go on for so long. You must think me quite the gossip. Spending time with such an engaging woman is never unpleasant, Lady Montillier. Goodness. I'm... Well, I'm, I'm glad I haven't wasted your day. Well, I've taken up quite enough of your time already. Until next time, Your Worship.
Inquisitor. I've found where the Red Templars come from. They're in Fall Redoubt. The Knights were fed Red Lyrium until they turned into monsters. Samson took over after their corruption was complete. How do you know Samson? He was a Templar in Kirkwall, until he was expelled from the Order. I knew he was an addict, but this... Red Lyrium is nothing like the Lyrium given by the Chantry. Its power comes with a terrible madness. Samson's armor was glowing with the stuff. They'll go mad soon enough. He seemed clear-eyed at Haven. Even so, a deluded commander is no less worrisome. The Red Templars still require Lyrium. If we find their source, we can weaken them and their leader. Are you angrier at Corypheus or Samson? I don't know. Samson, at least, should know better. Caravans of Red Lyrium are being smuggled along trade roads. Investigating them could lead to where it's being mined. If you confront them, be wary. Anything connected to Samson will be well guarded. As leader of the Inquisition, you... There's something I must tell you. Whatever it is, I'm willing to listen. Right. Thank you. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of Lyrium for the Templars here. But I... No longer take it. You stopped? When I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. Why are you doing this? After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. But I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I've asked Cassandra to... watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. Are you in pain? I can endure it. You seem to have this well in hand. I thought you had a right to know. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. He's in the Dales. He fights for the people. What people? Good to see you again, Inquisitor. 
Hope you've got your comfortable boots on. The scouts have seen a number of fade rifts all over the forest. We've located this mysterious Fairbanks. He won't share his information with anyone but you. He and his men are camped out at Watcher's Reach on the path ahead. From what we can tell, they're refugees from the war. Peasants, mostly. I do enjoy these encounters. It's like we're getting to know each other. We are, aren't we? Such a shame our meetings are so brief. But, you know, saving the world and all that. Busy, busy! Thank you for the information. I'll head out. Oh, uh, one other thing. A group of deserters from the Imperial Armies has established itself here. Freemen of the Dales, they call themselves. They are hostile to the Inquisition. And everyone else. Watch your back, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, if you have a moment. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. Fairbanks is expecting you as a camp. We're watching you.
It is an... Be safe. Inquisitor, please listen. You have encountered the Freemen. Aggressive bastards, no? They've killed a dozen of my people. We've tried to fight, but we cannot match their strength. You can. Why should you care about this, you ask? Because the free men are colluding with your enemy. Which enemy do you mean? The rogue Templars. <laughs> I've seen them through the woods, heading for the free men bases, leaving with crates. Destroy the free men, and they'll lead you straight to the red Templars. This I promise. I'll look into this, Fairbanks. All my information about the Freemen is right here, in our camp. Help us, and everything I know about the Dales, about these woods, I will share with the Inquisition. Village is still standing. Can we get a bigger fire going here? Allow me to take a look. I don't want to talk right now. Maybe later. I can't believe he's making us hide out here like mice. I've no good news today. Just ask. 